Hey guys, Eclipse14 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Panzer Dragoon Saga. Alright, so we're still dealing with the underground ruins of Uru, there's some stuff to do. I did mention at the end of last episode I was going to go off camera to cover one section that I passed through last episode, but couldn't actually cover the map. Well, after about three or four attempts, I was able to get a part of it, but not the very top left corner. Yeah, it's all focused on squares, I realize. And that's just... I tried to reach it, it's just not possible. Basically, the only way to actually get that one section blue was to just drive right over it and fall and hope you reach far enough that it works. Sure enough, that's what happened. Anyway, there's still two more sections to go, and that's what I'm going to do. We're going to take the longer one first, which will take three lefts, and then... The shorter path, which I'm heading to, I just need to take a right instead of a left here. And that will be the end of B question mark F. So we'll just roll on down here. Obviously there's no encounters or anything. Um, so it is just going to be a pretty boring ride until I get down to... B3 West, in which case I could fight some Absorber X just to have a little bit of action. Beyond that, there's not really anything else of importance. Uh, just need to head left here. Which should be... Yep, I'm in the right position. Roll all the way down. That should be... Yep, it's all blue. And there's the obelisk, which contains three power ships. And of course, uh, a spot I can't even access. Looks like I, even if I do ram it, it might not work. Yeah. But anyway, uh, just to show what I did with that one section, you just... Yeet! I just hope you reach far enough that it worked. Anyway, back to this. Um, just to break some monotony with this thing, I'm just gonna go back and fight more Absorber Axe. Because that, it's fun to do. Wait, why am I doing this now? Let's wait for all the gauges to charge. Okay, now let's uh, let them have their fun. Shoot. Did it again. just discharge and do absolutely no damage. Only the very back one's important. Wait for it to charge one final time, and let's get out. Sorry to ruin your game, but I got stuff to do. Alright, I'll be dealing with only one more of those encounters, and that'll be with this final rundown. And that'll be it for the Absorber Act encounters. Yeah, they're pretty easy to deal with once you recognize how they work. It's not like the previous Absorber as a Disc 2, uh, where you have to shoot everybody. It's actually a time limit on how long they're stunned rather than being permanently stunned. So the only one that really matters is the one that faces you, also known as the one opposite your direction. Alright, fortunately I only have to do this one more time, then I can break out of this monotony and head to the next section of concern.
Yeah, this is just a weird place. Skip through that, it's the same line as always. Did I catch that one? Yes, I did. Alright, so no problem there. Let's get to that last section. Yeah, if I don't get a full 100% completion on the map, uh, I'm definitely going to blame it on this damn floor. Then again, the ruins of Uru are kind of a pain in the ass to color everything. It's like the first one I had actually that I have legitimate trouble with because there's some spots that are just completely inaccessible because floater sucks. And I can't even use my dragon here. Damn it. Right down here, and here's the final obelisk of this floor, which contains three shield ships. And this should be just a straight cool. Drop down for the final time, and goodbye, floater. Freaking garbage. And with that, we'll face one more Absorbrack encounter just to fight something. And the rest of this episode is going to be a bit monotonous, but it'll finish off everything else we need to do in these ruins. You guys having fun? It's too bad, I'm going to shoot one of your dudes and blow the hell out of you all. I wish I could just two-shot these things, but I can't do that. And that's how it works. Easy stuff. And that'll be the last time I fight you guys. Alright, so we're done with that floor. Now what? Well, if you remember the underground dome section. There's one set of obelisks we couldn't break, and there was a room that we couldn't access. Now we have the dragon, and much stronger lasers than a stupid floater, we can handle that stuff. It's just this section took the longest, so I wanted to deal with it first, and sure enough, it took a full episode, and then some. Heck, we're already approaching eight and a half minutes on this one. But now we can go down to the second half of this place and finish things off. So we'll roll on down here. Rolling, rolling. There's the door. And here we are at the underground dome. Oh hey, we don't get to completely fall into the water. Whatever it is. I never actually covered the... Wow. Alright, hang on. Let's fix that. Get right there, and then just slam into the door. Or something. Bam. Does that... No, it doesn't. Cover it. Blue. Oh well. By the way, um... Can't use this. Even though you have a dragon that flies. Eh, whatever. So we do have to go all the way to the very start. We're gonna go here first, as this takes longer. And, uh, is less interesting, in my eyes. It's just a simple passage back to B4 and dealing with those obelisks that we couldn't access. One item's important, the rest are just kind of... whatever. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Well, we're flying, but whatever. Do, 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 do. There we go.
Welcome to B4. And there's the obelisks we were missing. <clears throat> Quite a few of them in total. One of them's important. This first one contains a blast chip. Number two contains a dual blast chip. Number three contains a dual blast chip. Num that's number five. Well, shoot it anyway. This is actually the most important item in D unit number eight. Number four contains a dual blast chip. Number six contains yet another dual blast chip. Number nine is an elixir maxis. Eight is a Dennis chip. And finally, number seven is another Dennis chip. Yeah, I broke them out of sequence, but sometimes lasers do that. Not that it matters, I got all of them. Most importantly, the D unit. Alright, with that done, we can head back to the dome and go up the uh, door we couldn't access. Which is actually a little more interesting. Not as many items, but there is something weird to note over there. So, let's go ahead and roll on here. And I'm not going to worry about the ancient recorder. Hell, I could probably save when I get out of this place. So we'll roll on up here. This should be... Nope, that's south. Go this way. Now we have B2F North, which is a rather small area, but some weird stuff. Inside here is this obelisk, which contains D unit number seven. Cool. So we got two D units relatively quickly. What goes on beyond that is, well, this room, and then finally a rather large room with an obelisk at the end. Let me just fly around here and whack away at that obelisk afterwards. Borders. Fuck borders. This obelisk has an ambrosia, which, uh, it's actually not a bad item. Yeah, I can't actually, like, get the thing to work, and it doesn't. Oh well, may as well just leave it. I mean, no point being a tryhard and trying to get it to work. It's not going to work. But here is rather interesting. If you access these, they tell you some weird stuff. Weird. Access this one. Hmm. I may have done that in reverse, but that's whatever. This one definitely starts running things correctly. Whoa. Okay. That's a smack in the face. Yikes. Now these last two parts here are also pretty interesting. Well, how about that? 
And then this final one. So that's what the D units are. Well, at this moment, we currently have. That's. Yeah, I've had a habit of pressing Y because I'm more used to using the map than anything else. Cannot be sold. So far, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8. So 7 of 12. Looking good so far. Anyway, with that done, we are officially done with the ruins of Uru. Unfortunately, we have to take the long way out because not only can we not use that elevator in the underground dome, we can't even leave with the world map command. I just realized we're at 17 minutes. Well, pushing it, but by the time I get out of here, it'll probably be pushing 19. I think that'll actually be a decent enough excuse to cut a video. Even though it was pretty more on the boring end of things, as I only faced two encounters, but at least everything's done. There is one more thing we need to do next episode, but beyond that, we'll actually start uh, making actual progress and heading for the holy district of Zoa. That's about it, pretty much. Go here, there's the recorder, there's the final door. Does this send me out to the world map? Oh, it does send me out to the world map. I thought it would put me up in Uru. Eh, no problem. Uh, what the hell, just go to camp. Oh, hi, Pike. I'll just wait till morning, because I want to pet the dragon. You know what to do. <laughs> also, I forgot to actually mention these tents here are how you save the game in the camp, which is what I'm going to do here. Been long enough. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video here, and we'll head for the Holy District of Zoa next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.